out of bed sick for years. Tonight, only on KCAL News, we're talking to a doctor working on a revolutionary new procedure that, if successful, could be a game changer in the field of organ transplants. Yeah, it's a big day. I mean, it's the first time ever done in the history of the planet. Did it work? You'll find out at the same time as that doctor. Okay, the report just came in. Tonight, only on KCAL News. We are following breaking news in East LA where a fuel spill from a big rig crash closed all westbound lanes of the 60 freeway. Desmond Shaw is live overhead in Sky Cal and Des, any updates? Well, Rachel and Juan, I think they're hoping to reopen at least one lane, perhaps a couple of more. There had been a lot of people that were trapped in the back up here uh, that uh, they were just allowed to funnel up. And now everyone being forced off this westbound 60 at Atlantic, all because of a big rig fuel spill, 90 gallons of fuel that was spilled on the roadway a couple of hours ago. They're hoping to have everything cleaned up by 5 o'clock. They are definitely making some progress. They have swept up a lot of the stuff. So we may see these lanes reopening here just as we get into the heart of rush hour. But, uh, boy, for everyone trapped in this, it is definitely... experts are sounding the alarm on climate change's effects in Orange County. Today, more than a dozen speakers took part in a hearing looking at what the county can do to adapt. KCAL News reporter Michelle Geely shares some of the key mm -hmm. issues. Destructive fires. Severe floods. Orange County supervisors Katrina Foley and Vincente Sarmiento got experts together Wednesday to talk about the effect that our changing climate is having on local communities and what to do about it. One solution is happening now at Doheny Beach and Dana Point. Sand from the flood control channels is being trucked in to replenish the shrinking coastline. We have to adapt for the future. Now we need to capture that sediment, that sand. We need to capture and reclaim that water so that we're not just washing it out into the ocean. UC Irvine professor Brett Sanders is a beach erosion expert. The UCI flood lab has documented those beaches eroding the fastest from Sunset Beach south to San Clemente. Not only do beaches serve as a natural defense against big storms, hotels and they go to our restaurants and all these things create jobs for Orange County. 20 homes burned to the ground in Laguna Niguel in 2022. Orange County Fire Authority Chief Brian Fennessy says there's no debate within the fire service that fires are moving quicker and burning larger. It's time, he says, for people to better protect their homes. But the home hardening, you know, the, the double, you know, the, the closed eaves, the double paneled windows, I mean, all of those things. The Orange County Fire Authority chief is encouraging homeowners to take advantage of state resources in order to retrofit their homes and bring them up to current code to hopefully prevent the losses that occurred in the coastal fire in Laguna Niguel. In Santa Ana, Michelle Geely, KCAL News. A woman who says she was beaten by an LAPD officer at a protest in downtown LA last week. Well, she says she's going to sue the department. <laughs> the tense scene happened outside the LA Unified School District headquarters. On one side of the protest, parents and activists demanding more control over school curriculum. On the other side, parents supporting the rights of LGBTQ students. Lucha Bright was one of the protesters arrested that day. She posted this video saying she was beaten by an officer. She wants that officer fired and the charges against her and another protester dropped. The LAPD used violence against those of us protecting LGBTQ rights. Their violence against us is totally illegitimate and should not be accepted by anyone. That is why I will be suing them. We reached out to the LAPD for comment, but we have not heard back yet. A Philadelphia pastor has a touching connection to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., having met him as a young child. It was a few years after on the, the March on Washington, and now 60 years after the historic march, reporter Natasha Brown sat down with Pastor Alan Waller to reflect on that day and the impact the civil rights leader had on his life. 
I think this march will go down as one of the greatest, if not the greatest, uh, demonstrations for freedom and human dignity. The March of Washington 60 years ago was a real symbol of the black church becoming the conscience of America. Little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. It's where Dr. King gave a real vision and even explanation of the work that had already been being done and the work that was left to do. The 60th anniversary of the March on Washington leads to reflection and a mindful renewal of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream. One day, this nation will rise up. ...up in this picture proudly displayed in his church office, taken four...